Here we go. Coinops Legends 4 Max or Max 4, whatever you want to call it. Here we are. We are in the arcade theme. Uh, there's now like dozens of themes to choose from. This is basically Forgotten Worlds, uh, Legends, and all kind of, men not all, but many of the previous builds all in one. You see the smoke in the background here, uh, the 3D sound of the uh, of the video snaps. There is optional background music as well. It is just turned off by default. And uh, what do we have here? All arcade, all games, a total of 711 games. And they're not all arcade games. For example, Zombie Ate My Navels on the Super Nintendo. Uh, you got Dreamcast now, you got PSP, even got some PC games on here as well. We're gonna check all that out in a moment here. But uh, let's look at the categories first. So settings, you'll notice you have 19 settings here because 18 of them are themes, different themes, right? Some have arcade rooms, some don't, some are marquee scrolling. We're gonna look at, the, we're gonna look at those in a second. Um, and then over here, glasses and bezels, you have that nighttime, dusk, everything like that. I'll get into that in a second. And then in this particular theme, the arcade theme, you can have your puzzle games together, your sports games together, your racing games, your shoot 'em ups, your fight club. And if you're scrolling by here, don't you can pause your screen in the bottom right corner. You can see that we're both in the night mode because you can see a moon there. And you can also see how many games. We're on one out of 112 games here. And in the left hand corner, you can see the theme, or not the theme, but the actual <clears throat> list you're on at the moment. So here are your console games. Um, if you're wondering, CoinOps 4, right? So it's gonna have improvements, optimizations, even more themes, even more customization, fixes, all that's all great. In addition, I believe it's about 33 brand new games have been uploaded to this. Um, so everything from PSP to, uh, like I said, Dreamcast. So let's look at this games really quick. So. Very cool, Rocky and Rocky 1 and 2, Mega Man, you got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Mario Kart Double Dash. So as you see, there's a lot of emulators installed here. It's not just main. And again, oh, you got Doom on here, you got DK, Crazy Taxi. Um, what I was saying was CoinOps Next, or CoinOps Legends, not Next. It's a standalone build. And remember that this is the max build. Okay, you even have Ultimate Street Fighter 4, you have Tekken 5, so you have some pretty cool games on here. But what I was saying about this build is that um, it's a max build. So it's about 104 gigabytes, and it has all those console games as well. If you just want these arcade games, 646 arcade games, no consoles, nothing extra, you could just get the Coin Ops Le uh, Legends 4 not the max not the max okay so there is the regular one out there and then here's the max so let's first go to the themes right because visually you know this thing is amazing all right so the glass and bezels you can click this and you'll notice it'll reboot and we should have a different icon in the lower right now okay so now we have the person looking into a portrait click it again you can um it'll have something different and I believe it's either six or seven. There's either six or seven of these. And you see that's the paintbrush for real. I think the paintbrush is realistic. We'll find out in a second what they mean. Just get, hold on. And you got the eye. So that was the eyeball there. And then you have the speaker, which is, um, my understanding, the speaker is like just a regular one, one bezel. More plain. And then you have the day. And then the next one should be night, right? You got day. Oh, no, there's a dusk now too, so. There's a couple things there. There you go. You got a sun, and then you should have the moon, right? And so let me just exit out really quick now that we've done all that. Back to the night. You can exit out here, and if you go to the helper on the on the icon here, it'll tell you. So there you go. You got day bezels right here. You got dusk bezels. You got night bezels, reflective bezels, artistic bezels, realistic bezels, and single bezels. Um, so this is affecting in game right so it's not actually changing the theme the themes themselves will like the smoke and the marquees and everything else so let's go ahead and load back in um if you go back i'm doing all playlists here you can even uh simplify the menus if you want a little bit with the different executables back there so you got the legends 4 there 
And what I'm hitting, I'm just hitting left. And you can see that here are your themes. So what we just looked at was the glass and bezels, which affects what it looks like in the game, okay? But now we have your themes. Arcade theme, as you can see here, there's smoke in the background. You got a big arcade. You got a wheel on the right side. Really cool looking. We got arcades two theme. And uh, you still got the smoke. Looks like the menu fades in and out. Is that what I'm seeing is the difference? Yeah, you got, oh no, the menu fades on this one too. Oh, the, the the actual, look at the cabinet. When you go between these two, the cabinet is a lot larger on the arcades too. So larger cabinet. All right, now you have cabinet where the cabinet is on the left. You got the wheel on the right. You got the background photos that are changing. You get the background photos there. You see behind the logos of the game, the background photos, you don't get that here. You just get the, you're in an arcade room with other cabinets around. So that's the cabinet theme. And then you have the cabinet T2. And uh, I wonder if that's the way that the background scrolls. No, it's scrolling the same. Okay, it's slightly different, the, the looks. Uh, but you can play around with that. Fast theme. There you go. I think as you hard scroll, yeah. So as you hard scroll, it doesn't change the background, so it's faster. So if you have a slow computer, you might want to use that one. Legends theme, okay, that's cool. It's just a, the video snap, no arcade cabinet. And it's got the horizontal venue. Here's one of my favorites, the marquee. And then you have the marquee too, that's the difference. Then you have the muted theme player theme player two theme poster theme the spin theme spin two theme vertical theme wall theme wall two theme wall two is darker I wonder if the two themes also have to do with them. oh yeah there you go. Did I just figure it out? Is it just that one is darker than the other? One is more muted colors? The saturation differences? Okay, well, check them all out. I like to approach this as not being the, uh, it's just like looking at them for the first time. And I gotta say, like see wall and wall too, like it's very, you know, that this is dark, you know, and this is light, right? So these two, it's very, you can really see the difference between them. But um, awesome, awesome stuff. You know, I don't know which one to pick. I like cabinet, I like arcade, I really like the wheel, and as you know, I really like the marquee. The other themes are great, I just think a lot of other builds utilize something similar, so I kind of like the uniqueness of those ones. But anyways, uh, we're on arcade theme, but let's do another theme uh, since we started the video out with that theme. Let's go ahead and go to marquee theme. And we'll look at what's on the build. So, as far as what's on the build, here you go, you got arcade games, you got 711. I'm not gonna go through all the arcade games. Um, you know, and I actually went through the, through the, I did actually go through the console games already earlier in the video. So, um, let's do the arcade games really quick. So you go to um, consoles, arcades. This actually isn't the best way to show off the arcades, huh? So let's go to let's do cabinet because then you can <coughs> you can see the wheel so here you go you do have aftermarket after burner climax which actually is a playstation 3 game um so you can run the playstation 3 emulator uh you know aladdin okay so am i on all oh, i'm in all games right now okay since i already looked at the um I already looked at the console games earlier, but they do put Afterburner Climax, I believe, in both. Um, well, they definitely put it in arcades. And uh, so uh, talking a little bit about that, that's a PlayStation 3 emulator. You know, it really does help if you have a dedicated graphics card. So keep that in mind as far as, like, whether you would choose this build versus an, another build. Um, you know, uh, if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, you have a slower computer, you might just want to get the regular Max build with the, with the arcades on it. Um, but then again, I mean, you know, you, there's a lot of those console games you can play, like Super Nintendo, things like that, maybe even Dreamcast. Um, but just just so you know, 
if, if your if your computer's not running that that game does have a little bit higher of uh, requirements um a common thing i get is a question i get is just like oh what's up with all these you know coin ops builds it seems like they just come out with one every week or every month or whatever and i would just say um you know, they instead of doing updates, they just totally redo the whole build. And at a, at around 100 gigabytes, it's under 100 gigabyte download. You know, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I do understand that there are some people out there that might have slower internet connections or bandwidth limits, things like that. So, you know, it is really unfortunate. Um, hopefully these videos help you out, you know, making your choice of whether you want to get it or not. Um, you know, these builds, they're, they're great little builds. Um, you know, I think the ultimate thing is to get, you know, like uh, uh, the next build and then build out with all the different systems. And, you know, you have like multiple, like eight terabytes worth of games. Like, I think ultimately that would be the go to for me to have it all set up. However, if you just want some of these games and, and, and this, these games will keep you occupied for hours and hours and hours and hours, if not, you know, years and years. Um, this game's really cool. You can hook up a... Um, a uh, trackball and play it too um you know you can get like the ultimate build or you can just get this put it on a hard drive it's not too big you could share it with friends things like that and uh it's pre-set up for you there's no like rocket launcher or or joy to key you have to set up it's all set up for you just a standard xbox controller and you're rocking and rolling so that's who this build is for you know it's for somebody that wants you know and then so you got the you also have like a second model one and two and all that pre-set up for you on here as well so there's some pretty cool stuff that if you were to go download the emulator find the rom do all that you know it could take you weeks potentially um so that's really cool that just it's all set up for you ready to go um, you got a nice little Mortal Kombat. It's cool that Mortal Ultimate Mortal Kombat is with your other ones. Nice and uh, neat there. Got some good NBA jams on there. Got your sport, well, plenty of sports games, football, hockey. You even have Outrun. I believe one of these Outruns are the PC version as well. I think it's this one right here, the Outrun 2006. Um, and then uh, there's some PSP games. There's a PSP game added on here as well. So, so even more fun on these uh on these builds primal rage so uh that's why you might want this build it's not really a build like the next where you can throw everything on it um it's really is a you know uh forgotten worlds as well as the previous legends uh all in one with all the latest themes and everything else so um it's really easy to do if this is your first time installing it <clears throat> you do need to download it uh, you can get it on backups.me. Um, there'll be a video in the description on how that all works. Uh, they also, CoinOps has a uh, Discord channel. You can join there, talk to them there. They'll help you out. They'll walk you through. Just um, make sure, their big thing is that you're reading the frequently asked questions, you know, which is don't just go on there and start asking random questions. Like so just make sure you do the readme's first and you know if you do have a specific question i'm sure someone can help but um after you download it you just unraw it and then if it's your first time there are some install files you have to do for the first time um which are really easy they're just in the in the file system there it says if not working click these and install those and then you just launch the program um you know there might be some other little things that happen like maybe you have to you know do an exemption for your firewall or something like that but for the most part it's plug and play and um you know you're rocking and rolling after that so you know i got to give this one a great review they it is what it is you know like you know what they say is it's a purpose-built build more themes than ever i love the night mode so you get the you know when this all first came out was something that really impressed me was that they made the arcade games look really good and you know there's a whole thing about getting games looking that's why people buy crt monitors and things like that to make the pixels look so good and whatever and i have to say coin off does a really good job of that not just from the front end when you're like what we're looking at right now but when you actually launch a game you know they play with the the shaders the night mode the the bezels and so it makes it a really fun good looking gaming experience and you know that's really great especially considering it's all software based there's no hardware right you're not buying a mister or something like that you know it just works so for all those reasons i dig it you know um look at the game list look at the themes you know maybe you're happy with coin ops legends max 3 and you don't need to upgrade that might be very well the it um but um this is really cool 
And uh, we're in night mode right now. Let's go ahead and uh, launch uh, Alien Storm, for example, here. All right, so here we are in Alien Storm. We insert some tokens with select. We hit start. Look at that beautiful be bezel. We're in night hey, mode here. Job. You can see nice little pixels here. Um, mission one. Did I not hit start? Okay, there we go. Now we're starting. Really cool. Why won't you die? Go inside. All right, there we go. This is what I like. You're toast, dude. All right, good job. All right, so <clears throat> you hit select on your controller to exit. You can add your favorites, things like that. Um, this is what I was saying. Fix is not working. You have to install these if it's your first time. Advanced configs. If you want to just run any of those scripts, you know the different bezels, the scan lines. Uh, changing Super Mario 64, all that stuff, just two clicks away. You double click it in the advanced configs and then you just launch the game and you've made those changes. You can see all the emulators here. You know, you got Outrun 2006, Standalone, Sega Model 3, P PS2, Super Mario 64, Ultimate Street Fighter 4. You got the Triforce Mario Kart games there. You got your MAME games. You got Dolphin because you're running Mario Kart GP 1 and 2. You got Daphne. Um, I think I saw that. They have Dragon's Lair now or one of those games I think are on there. Afterburner Climax running on the PS3 control uh, emulator. And then uh, Retro Arch is running, you know, all your SNES and, and all that other fun stuff. So pretty. Oh, you even have Sega Racing Classic installed on there. Very cool. So a lot of stuff there. I'm digging it. Let me know what you think. That's what I think.